in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will go to the altar of God, to God who gives joy to my soul. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins unto Almighty God and prepare ourselves, that we might be found worthy to participate in this holy sacrifice. And now, please make an examination of your conscience. Having confessed our sins unto Almighty God, and asking for his forgiveness. Let us recite the first act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, who knows the innermost secrets of my heart, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I earnestly repent of all my sins, and I am truly sorry that I have offended you. Most loving Father, have mercy on me and forgive my sins. I resolve to amend my life to improve and sanctify it, that I may become worthy to serve you faithfully all the days of my life. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, you will again renew us, and your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord, and grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear my voice, Lord, when I call. Have mercy on me and answer me. Come, says my heart. Seek God's face. Your face, Lord, do I seek. Alleluia. Do not hide your face from me and do not repel your servant in anger for you are my help. Do not cast me off. Do not forsake me, God my Savior. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. 
Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you promise that when we seek you with all our heart, we will find you. Give us such a total desire for you that we will not cease our search until you show us your salvation and reveal your presence. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, you gave us mothers for the re rearing of each new generation and the fulfillment of your purposes here on earth. You poured into the hearts the graces of faith, love, and sacrifice. On this Mother's Day dedicated to the honor of our mothers, we ask that you would bless all the mothers of our congregation. Empower them to lovingly fulfill the obligations you have given them as they look to the example of Mary, the Blessed Mother of our Lord, and to the lives of all devout and holy women. Let us pray. O Creator and Redeemer of all mankind, grant unto the souls of all our faithful departed mothers forgiveness of sins. May our devout prayers obtain for them the promise and pardon of our Savior. We ask all of this through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, and art one God forever and ever. Amen. On this, the fifth Sunday of Easter, the first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God, to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the Spirit and with wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the Word. The proposal was accepted to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith in the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmesius, and Nicholas of Antioch, a con convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles and prayed and laid their hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial for today is taken from Psalm 33, and the response is, Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us 
as we place our trust in you. Exalt you just in the Lord, praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp, with the ten-string lyre chant his praises. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right, and the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. The second reading for today is taken from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And, like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in Scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore its value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that will make people stumble, and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wondrous light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Alleluia. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. Alleluia. 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 It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to myself 
so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do not know him and have seen him. Master, Philip said, show us the Father that we will have enough to believe. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for such a long time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do not you believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you I do not speak of my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you. Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning to all of you. Life began with waking up and loving my mother's face. These words are taken by George Eliot. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters, following today's service later this afternoon, I will be traveling out to my parents' grave site in Westfield, Massachusetts, to place flowers, and pay my respects, especially to my mom this day, who I lost in 2008. I am sure that many of us will do the same if possible for our departed mothers, for Mother's Day is a most special day, as it should be. On this Mother's Day, my thoughts are of my mom, and I'm in I am sure that many others will remember their mothers. I was her caregiver for over 10 years prior to her passing. Looking back, I considered myself so fortunate to have had the opportunity of being with her in her final years. And it was in her final years that I was able to travel with her along with my sister Joy, or my oldest nephew Dylan, on several cruises, twice to the Western Caribbean, once to Europe, and finally twice to Hawaii. But while these vacations were memorable and incredibly special, it was our day-to-day -day interactions, our conversations, and most importantly, the times that we laughed together and shared meals together. How she was a great cook. When she passed in 2008, all that ended. How I wish I could have had more time with her, but God gave me several years with her, and for this I thank God. I would like to say to you, to all of you, if your mother is still alive, please take the time to call her on the phone and tell her how much you love her. 
how sad it has been. With so many families having lost their moms due to the coronavirus. So many were unable to be with their mothers when they passed. Due to the isolation protocols at the nursing homes and hospitals. I remember one nurse being interviewed on TV who said that all the nurses and doctors caring for the sick at their facility cared for each patient who were separated from their families as their surrogate family, easing their pain and calming their fears. May God bless all these health workers as well as the first responders who have been called by many who have survived this coronavirus as their angels. Though many will not be able to hug their moms this Mother Day, Mother's Day, please let them know that you love them by simply saying, thank you, Mom, for all you have done and still do. Because there will be a time, there may be a time, when you will be unable to tell her or hear her say back to you, I love you or that I am proud of you. I think one of the hardest things that any child must deal with is the loss of one's mother, the loss of one's parent. When I lost my dad in 1997, it broke my heart, and I understood that, that there would probably be a day where I would have my heart broken again with the loss of my mom which took place 12 years ago. How I remember my sister Joy saying to me as we walked away from her internment service, you know, Bobby, we are now truly orphaned. Although I, have, although I may not have always agreed and at times rebelled against my mother's advice, I remember her saying to me, I want you to know that I am your best friend. How true. When I fell off my bike as a kid, it was my mom I went to, to bind my wounds and dry my tears. When I needed help with my homework, it was mom who I went to for help. And it was my mom who taught me my daily prayers, the Our Father, the Hail Mary, and the Glory Be. Not only did she teach me these prayers, but she would kneel down beside me and we would pray together. It was my mom who first took me to church. For these and so many, many wonderful memories of when I went to my mom, I look back and I realize that she indeed was my best friend. And I miss her, as I am sure so many of us miss our mothers and our hearts this Mother's Day. So how else can we honor our mothers this day? Whether it be sending a simple Mother's Day card, or flowers, or just calling and thanking her, this is the least we can do to honor them. And I believe that they will truly appreciate your love and words of kindness. For others whose mothers have passed, it will be taking the time to go and pay respect at their resting place or offering a prayer to God for them. I will never forget one of the last things that my mom said to me before she passed. Always love God and be a good boy. I think that any mother with a deep love of God and her family would probably give the same advice to their children, love God and be good. So my dear brothers and sisters, for all their love and sacrifice, Mother's Day is truly a most special day. 
It is also during the month of May that we honor a most special mother, Mary, the mother of our Lord. She set the standard of Christian motherhood, for I believe that she was ever so caring and loving. She was righteous unto the Lord, and I am sure she reflected and taught the love of God to her son. You know that a true mother's love for her children is a selfless love. My dear mothers, reflect the blessed Mother Mary in all that you do. Take the example of this most blessed mother and set it as your standard. Always be righteous unto God and reflect God's love to your children and family who will see God through and in you. May God bless all our dear mothers, both living and deceased. And on this Mother's Day, may we all in our hearts, minds, and voices say, Thank you, Mom, for everything. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray for God who said, let light shine out of darkness has shone in our hearts to bring to light the knowledge of the glory of God on the face of Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Receive, Father Almighty and Eternal God, this immaculate host which I, your unworthy servant, offer to you, my living and my true God, from my countless offenses and omissions, for all present here, for our nation as well as for all faithful Christians living and dead, and for all humanity, may it be for us a means to salvation and everlasting life. Amen. Lord God. You endued us with great dignity and worthiness through Jesus Christ. You have exalted and sanctified us. Through the mingling of this wine and water, may we worthily partake of this holy oblation, in which our Savior gives himself to be food for mankind, and in the deepest truth unites himself with them.
we offer you, Lord, the cup of salvation. In your mercy, look upon your faithful people and accept this oblation of praise, petition, and adoration for our salvation and for that of the whole world. Amen. Lord, receive us who bow before you in contrition and humility and grant that the sacrifice be so offered in the sight as to be pleasing to you, Lord God. Come, sanctifier, almighty and eternal God, and bless the sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. I wash my hands in innocence and go about your altar, O Lord, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and telling all your wondrous deeds. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Sweep me not away with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, men in who, whose hands are evil devices and whose right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be gracious to me. My foot stands on level ground. In the great congregation, I will bless the Lord. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in remembrance of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, that it may add to their honor and aid our salvation. May they, whose memory we are in honor on earth, intercede for us in heaven. We ask this. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Let us pray. Lord our God, sanctify these gifts and purify our hearts. Placing our needs before you, may we walk with the light of your countenance, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray, Almighty God, accept these gifts which we offer and help us to honor our mothers, that our days may be long in the land in which you have given us. Let us pray. Almighty Father, accept these gifts which we offer to you in faith and trust. May this offering unite us with your Son's offering on the Christ's cross and bring all of us to eternal life, especially our faithful departed mothers. All of this we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The whole Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your whore hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right and just so to do. Father, O powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Ah, uh, especially at this time. When he became our paschal sacrifice, he is the true lamb who took away the sins of the world. Through his death, he conquered death for us, and by his wondrous resurrection, he restored eternal life to us. Therefore, we join with the voices of the angels and archangels, with all the saints, and the entire church. And we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
most merciful Father. We most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. We remember in prayer this day the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the homeless, the unemployed, the hungry, for all abused and neglected children in our world. We also remember in prayer this day all the doctors and nurses, first responders, and healthcare workers. And all present, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer, who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and their all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who live, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and to make it pleasing to yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples, and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily, in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father. Giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and glorious ascension, 
We, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice, an immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar, into the presence of your divine majesty, that we, who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar, may be filled with every blessing and grace, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your handmaidens, all deceased mothers who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future. And by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and also Andrew and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, supported by the help of your mercy. May we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always and also with you. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at my sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant the peace and unity of your kingdom. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. 
who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation, though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master, awaken in me a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make me your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite me entirely with you, my Lord and my God. Grant this who lives and reigns with God the Father, in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the heavenly bread, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, what we have received unto our lips, may we precede mentally. And may the gifts we have received this day bring us healing and strength, now and forever. Amen. May your body, O Lord, which I have received, and your blood, which I have drunk, cling to my innermost being, and grant that no sin remain in me, in whom these holy sacraments have nourished. No one has ever seen God. The only Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed Him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are the Word of God fully known, the mystery hidden for all ages, the cornerstone of our salvation, now revealed in the Holy Eucharist, which we share. Through your holy resurrection, build us into a living temple to contain the glory of God. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, strengthened by this Holy Eucharist, give us grateful hearts for the blessings of motherhood, Inspire us to understand and appreciate a mother's spirit of love and self-denial, of intelligent and voluntary service. 
Let us pray. Merciful God, through this Holy Eucharist, we are united with our Lord Jesus, who rose from the dead. May our prayers which we offer for our departed mothers be joined with you in the new Jerusalem. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Go, the sacrifice has been offered. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May the tribute of my worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, though unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for myself and all those for whom I have offered it, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning, through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John, sent by God, who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. He came unto his own, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name who were begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God, the Word. Became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, I thank you for sharing today's Mass. And now, let us offer a final prayer for the blessings of God to rest upon all our dearly departed and all our presently living mothers. May God be with you until we meet again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed mothers, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they all rest in peace. Amen. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.